Good morning, Brad Washa with the Alaska Incident Management Team with today's update for July 31st on the bootleg fire. As far as the fire goes, each day we're feeling a little more confident on where we are with the fire. Since the team's tenure on the fire, the fire hasn't made any significant movement as was occurring prior to our arrival. Um, each night or each night when the weather conditions allow, as far as uh, no cloud cover over the fire and aircraft being available or no mechanicals with the aircraft, we have a jet that flies over the fire and does infrared um, readings of the fire. So they look to see where we have heat on the fire. That's still showing a lot of heat in the northern part of the fire, particularly in this area and along um, just south of the Secan Marsh. And uh, you know we are watching that and we do look at that as far as where we place resources. One positive thing on those infrared um, readings is we're seeing less and less heat along the perimeter of the fire and more internal heat. So that's showing that our mop-up efforts are being successful. Also with that, um, we do have line completely around the fire itself. We're not calling it contained because we want near 100% guarantee that that's not going to uh, potentially spot outside of the fire. But we do have some sort of line, whether it's hand line with hoses or um, dozer line completely around the fire itself or where we've black lined, where we've gone in. Not necessarily, there's not enough fuels to actually put in hand line with crews, but we've actually said that the fire perimeter is cool. Going around the fire itself, uh, the northwest side of the fire um, has um, line in it. We're also doing some contingency lines around that just in case we get any spot fires that spot outside the fire itself and threaten to um, increase the fire side. Um, looking really good, Secan Marsh. Like I said, there's interior heat here. We are looking at these interior islands and looking at potentially blacking those in or not counting them as part of, part of our perimeter because we don't feel there's going to be a threat outside the fire itself. On the north east side, continuing to work that. You know, we do have concerns around here. Again, I've mentioned before, we've had some spots in this area, and uh, if we're not able to hold that area, we do have concerns on this winter ridge area. Again, putting in some indirect line, line away from the fire itself, so that if we did get spotting, we'd have a secondary line to fall back to and uh, contain the fire. Pretty much the rest of the fire is in mop up and patrol mode, and uh, we're gonna continue that until we feel comfortable with that. And uh, with that, um, that's our update for the 31st of July. Thanks and have a great day.